Morning Bay. Get to know about the traffic on your way and what's news around the world today. Some wisdom skills along the way. Oh, and a song to hum along with and sway. Get your perfect entertaining start to the day. At 9 a.m. every weekday morning with Mahima's, Mahima's Good, Good Morning, morning Bay. आपके प्यारे महिमा के द्वारा मैं फालतू बाबा एंड ऑफकोर्स माई से फालतू रानी लेकर आपके लिए कॉल ड्राइव टाइम एक्साइटिंग एंड टोटली टोटली मस्त आनी बंदूजान रास्ते का हाल आप लोग को देते हैं हम लोग टोटल स्वस्थ बे It's time for the Bandu traffic update. Call us from wherever you are at four zero eight nine one two two four seven nine. And of course, Bajan, today the traffic looks very eerie, Fazlani. It looks very eerie. It looks like one of the days when we actually had the sheltering in place announced, right? It's like that right now. The roads. Oh really? I kid you not, but Jan, it's totally like you know. Uh, if you, I can actually do this. I can actually share the screen for you guys to show you to tell you what exactly is happening. This is the screen, but Jan, if you're actually on our Facebook page, here you go. This is how it looks. You see that? There's no incidents anywhere, but Jan, totally. The map is like clear, crystal green everywhere. Only a few oranges here and there, but Jan. Of course, if you look at it, there is a kind of an update of a little bit of high winds advisory or traffic hazard six eighty or there five eighty as usual. Got a high winds advisory there. But otherwise, look at that. There's no accidents. Oh, I spoke too soon. Something just cropped up because accident on one hundred one northbound at Ralston Avenue in Belmont. The left lane's affected there. But otherwise, you see what I'm talking about, Jan. It's like totally like you know. Green all the way. Is, is it people actually are going to sleep in today and start driving this evening? Well, Altu Baba, it's I... the weekend, long weekend, right? Oh, really? That's right. It's a long weekend, so probably people are, you know, in that mood where they want to go home. But I'll tell you, but then this really is the way. This this exactly how it was. Moment, uh, Sarah Kodi announced that we're going to be going into shelter in place, Bhajan. This exactly the way it was. Oh. I kid you not. Right. When uh, when uh, Altu Baba, I want to ask you something. Yeah. Do you think that uh, companies are not coming back from the, uh, you know, after the sheltering in place? Do Why you do you think? think? I I hope that's happening. Then so at we know what's going to happen, right, Faldwani? What's going to happen, Altu? Commercial estate will drop. Huh? Yeah. Really? All those buildings they've been leasing for years together and owning, they had to. You you out. hope that they will not come back. Well, I hope they don't come back. Why? <laughs> okay, fine. You really think that they want to come back? I think that see, they have created a new way of working from home. Uh-huh. And see, it doesn't make economic sense if you tell you ask me, right? If people are going to be more productive working from home, huh. fine, give them that thing, right? Yeah. You save on your rent, you save on your electricity at your offices, right? Mm-hmm. All that is, and you also save on the fact that the snacks you used to spend. Actually, speaking, for only almost a com- if you look at an organization entirely, right? Uh-huh. The kind of work they put in to keep those people in the offices uh-huh. is quite considerable. Oh. It's quite a huge amount. That's true. The the office management, the fees they pay is quite a huge amount. And yes, um, nowadays it's become so invasive, right? People are you know uh, they can track them anywhere, whatever they do. So they can't actually even violate time or a thing or a computer. So they keep them on their toes, rather on their. Edge of the seats, by the way, <laughs> not toes, because probably edge of the bed. How <laughs> many people are working for the bed, I suppose, as yeah. opposed to the bed. But anyway, if some people are working from home. They should be given an option. If you remember, I think there was a time when there was, uh, well, the, well, there are two things to this. Schools has to open. Mm-hmm. Right, anyways, I think schools are going to come back and thing. Uh, but why am I saying all this? It's all my opinion. You asking my opinion today? Yeah, I was. It's a new you. day. My goodness, but I can't imagine what's happening today. See, <laughs> Falto is taking my opinion and you know valuing it. My goodness, it's like you know, wow! It's a fresh new day, Falto Ani. Yes. Or, or could be that, or or she's trying to buy time. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? I know Falto Ani. Uh, I know everything, Falto Ani. But I just look this way, but I'm very smart. And of course, Bajaj, right now let's go see what's happening with the news updates for you guys, local news. And yes. Um, Uh, we have been following this very closely as well, but Jan, the um, shooting uh, which happened yesterday, it's so sad news, and uh, it's kind of a, I don't know, it's very disturbing to think about it. It's happening so close to home. 
and that the fact that it tells you if it happens somewhere else doesn't mean it's your connect disconnect from you it actually can happen anywhere anytime so you know i think the gun rules and everything should actually uh, and also attention to mental health mm mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sorry uh, being a person of I uh, you know of, of of the background of psychology I really think that you know mental health has been ignored by many people um and um, and yeah this is the thing I, it's unfortunate that they actually have access to those guns but at the same time there's also underlying thing like you know how companies treat their employees yeah right mm-hmm. now uh, you never know just be, even before the uh, thing if you remember Falcon there was something which happened in um, in the campus of Facebook yeah yeah you remember that uh, the shootout which happened there or YouTube was it at youtube channel come yeah, thing yeah at youtube yes just, just before the thing and you know all the discussion and then before that the gilroy thing correct and it's like you know disturbing to understand it. and and yes but thing is uh, physical health to hai hi we need to focus on mental health as well well being um and that's something that I felt really strongly that covid actually forced us to think about mm-hmm. and i hope people start focusing on the self as opposed to anything else right now yeah. but anyway valdoni enough time you bought from me uh, let's get to the headlines uh, what's what do we have Well let's start with the VTA shooting that happened right well yesterday um San Jose um held a vigil for mm. these um uh with the victims of the shooting but um let's get you some more details on what exactly happened <laughs> there that day and what led to it NBC Bay Area's actual investigative unit did a story on this and they learned that the gunman who shot and killed the nine VTA co-workers before taking his own life on Wednesday was under investigation for allegedly making racist remarks to co-workers and was scheduled to attend a disciplinary hearing on the day of the attack according to law enforcement sources a uh, Samuel Cassidy 57 had been the subject of recent complaints including accusations that he was making inappropriate racial remarks to colleagues while on the job as a station maintenance worker <clears throat> authorities with knowledge of the investigation say that the gunman had also reportedly boasted to coworkers about having guns and explosives it remains unclear however what authorities knew about those allegations and whether they were to be discussed at a so called skelly hearing set for the shooter later on wednesday sheriff's investigators issued a statement thursday describing the gunman as a highly disgruntled vta employee for many years but did not go on uh, any further in attributing any specific motive he uh, appears to have been known to some federal authorities prior to wednesday's attack the wall street journal reported thursday that the us customs and border protection agents questioned the gunman in 2016 after finding books about terrorism and a notebook filled with notes detailing his hatred for his employer hmm So um this memo from the uh, Department of Homeland Security seemed to have caught both local and federal law enforcement uh, officials by surprise many of whom uh, learned about it for the first time Thursday according to a law enforcement source who spoke to NBC's uh, investigative unit if you want to read up on that entire story banujan you can go to mediamahima.com i will share that as well In the meanwhile, uh, uh, Nancy Pelosi and AAPI uh, community leaders highlight the passage of a COVID-19 hate crimes act. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and leaders in the San Francisco um, uh, Asian American community held an event in Portsmouth Square on Thursday to highlight recently passed legislation in these to make it easier to report hate crimes regarding the um, Asian um, American community. Uh, Representative Grace May- Uh, uh, the Democrat from New York, Senator Mazie Hirono, the Democrat from Hawaii, introduced the COVID-19 um, Hate Crimes Act in response to a rise in hate crimes against Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders during the coronavirus pandemic. Between March 19, 2020, and March 31st, 2021, there were at least 6,600 hate crimes reported um, to the San Francisco-based nonprofit Stop AAP. I hate um which operates a reporting center for racist discriminatory xenophobic acts against the AAPI community. Um <clears throat> this is a uh, news breaking news that's just come in Banujan a preliminary 4.1 magnitude earthquake struck Friday morning at Lake Tahoe according to the United States Geological Survey. Mm-hmm. The quake shook at 8:25 a.m. and was centered in the middle of the lake uh, for about 1.4 uh, actually about 14 miles north of South Lake Tahoe. Um no other information is currently available in this regard. 
let's go on over to the other part of the United States and see what President Biden is up to. The White House on Friday, that is today, will present Joe Biden's budget for trillions of dollars in spending on infrastructure, education and other initiatives. But the plan is like unlikely to uh, sway Republicans who want to tamp down U.S. government spending. Biden, a Democrat, will put price tags on his policy priorities at fighting U.S. inequality and climate change and increasing funding research, uh, education and child care in what is expected to be a roughly six trillion dollar blueprint for the fiscal year that starts on october 1st um, the budget is biden's first full spending outline since taking office in january and serves as the fiscal blueprint for his political priorities its release at 1 30 p.m eastern time will kick off what will likely be months of difficult negotiations for congress which needs to approve most of the spending by the way the republicans remember we talked about the 988 billion dollars that they came back as a counter well, in that bill, they completely eliminated electric cars, uh, focus on renewable energy. They removed the entire climate change priorities. Oh, really? They have yeah. done that? Yeah, they actually, what they, in their counter offer, there was nothing uh, related to any of this. And uh, I was reading up on another article yesterday, Alta Baba, mm -hmm. <laughs> where um, a Senate uh, minority leader now, Mitch McConnell, apparently um, ha reached out to his fellow uh, Republican colleagues and said, if you really respect me, you should block the Jan 6th bill. Ah. Yes, that's right. So what is that about? Well, Republicans in the U.S. Senate actually blocked the probe of the Capitol riot. So it just says that people don't respect him and still there. So No, they respect him. That is why they blocked the probe. They did? Yeah, he actually said, if you really uh, have any personal respect for me, this is... This is the minority leader of our Senate who says, block the probe. Mm -hmm. Let us not block, let us not um, investigate this probe. Republicans in the U.S. Senate on Friday uh, derailed a bipartisan inquiry into the deadly assault on the Capitol by former President Donald Trump supporters. Despite a torrent of criticism, they were playing uh, down the violence. Democrats and some moderate Republicans had called for a commission to probe the events leading up to and on Jan 6, when hundreds of supporters of Trump, a Republican, stormed the Capitol, fly, fighting with the police, urging violence against lawmakers and delaying the formal certification of President Joe Biden's election victory. The violence left five dead, if you remember, including a Capitol police officer. Mm -hmm. This measure failed by a vote of 54 to 35, short of the 60 votes needed to advance legislation in the 100-member Senate. What are you afraid of? The truth, Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer said on the Senate floor. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell has argued that the commission would duplicate work done by other congressional committees as well as a sweeping federal criminal investigation that has so far um, resulted in the arrests of more than 440 people. But Republicans are also concerned that the commission modeled on one that probed the September 11, 2000. One attacks would focus attention on the violence and on Trump's persistent false claims about the 2020 election well into the next year's midterm congressional election campaigns, which is why they actually uh, brought this down. It's, it's so ridiculous that political priority takes priority over the uh, free will of people. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the proposal already passed the House of Reps with the support of all Democrats and one in every six Republicans. The United States uh, Federal Aviation Authority confirms uh, Boeing halt to 787 Dreamliner deliveries. Uh, the, um, they have said that uh, uh, they have temporarily Boeing has temporarily halted deliveries of 787 Dreamliners as the agency waits for more data to determine if the plane makers' planned uh, inspection methods meet federal requirements. Uh, Boeing still needs to show its proposed inspection method that would meet FAA's uh, federal safety regulations. FAA is waiting for additional st uh, data from Boeing before determining whether the company's solution meets safety regulations. 
And uh, in uh, some news with regard to Trump and his uh, cronies, a U.S. federal judge on Friday ordered an independent review of evidence from electronic devices seized in recent raids from Rudy Giuliani's home and office, rejecting Giuliani's effort to block the review. U.S. District Judge Paul Otkin in Manhattan said appointing a special master would ensure the perception of fairness in reviewing the 18 devices, including cell phones and computers taken during during the April 28th raids. Uh, and if you're planning to, um, you know, have big plans for the summer, get ready, Banjab, because summer's about to kick in, and so is sticker shock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everything from gas prices to uh, inflation is on the rise, so everything is going to go up in terms of pricing because people are going to try to recover uh, things that they lost during the uh, pandemic. <clears throat> That's pretty much what I have in news from across the United States and the local Bay Area. World news will come up, but before that, we have a Ghani Kakira. That's right, Benja. We do have a Ghani Kakira for you guys. A beautiful song. We long times have played it. Ravi Sabri. Mahendra Kapoor ki awaz hai, A beautiful song from the movie Hamraz. It talks to you about the fact that, Arey, jab hi karna hai, na sar utha ke karo. Hey, what are you doing? Namu chupa ke jiyo. और न सर झुका के जियो the Likhai, Matlab lyrics by Sahil Lidani Ji, and of course, music. I will let you know, Barajan. I wonder who the music is. Let me uh, <laughs> research further, confirm and come back to you, Barajan. Ghatta me chup ke sitare Puna nahi hote Ghatta me chup ke sitare Puna nahi And of course, music by Ravi Ji, and that's a very nice song. But then, आप लोगों को और थोड़ा बजेगा बाद में for sure. लेकिन अभी के लिए quickly let's go take a look at what's happening with the world news for you guys. But then, yes, आप बेस अभी से इंतजार कर रहे होंगे. So let's start any further ado, Faltani. Let's bring to you. The World News, Banjan, right here on Radio Dihari is airing on 13.10 a.m. and 92.9 f.m. on Good Morning Bay, a production of Media Mahima. The United States said on Friday it was deeply concerned by the detention of a U.S. citizen who was working as a journalist in Myanmar and pressed the military government for his immediate release. A spokesperson for the U.S. State Department said consular officers from the U.S. Embassy in Yangon had sought to visit the journalist Daniel Fenster but had not been allowed access. Fenster, managing editor of Frontier Myanmar, one of the country's top independent news sites, was uh, detained at the main international gateway in Yangon on Monday while preparing to fly to Malaysia. The publication said this week, Frontier Myanmar said on Monday, the fenster, uh, who is 37 years old, had been transferred to Yangon's Insean prison. Uh, it said it did not know why he had been detained or and had not been able to contact him. In the meanwhile, uh, speaking of detainment, Banijan, the United Nations Refugee Agency is voicing deep concern right now at reports of soldiers taking hundreds of people away from displacement camps in the Tigray region of Ethiopia earlier this week, saying such sites should be a safe haven. Three aid workers and a doctor told Reuters this week that Eritrean and Ethiopian soldiers forcibly detained more than 500 young men and women uh, from four camps for displaced people in the town of Shiri in the northern region on Monday night. They're saying that they're reiterating their call on all parties involved uh, to protect civilians, including those who have been forcibly uh, displaced. 
Remember the Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko? Mm-hmm. Well, he has flown into Russia to meet his really, really good friend, President Vladimir Putin, amid an uproar in Europe over the dramatic grounding of a passenger jet in Minsk and the arrest of a dissident blogger. Blogger. Uh, the uh, talks in the black city of Sochi were organized before the plane uh, incident, uh, but come as the West has accused Belarus of piracy over the way the plane was made to land. Um, and uh, in EU, Banijan, the European Union uh, regulator is now uh, backing the Pfizer BioNTech COVID 19 vaccine for adolescents. Um, they have said that this can be. Um, given out to children as young as 12, paving way for a broader rollout in the European Union region after similar clearances in United States and Canada. And in India, Banijan, huge, more than 96,000 hectares of agricultural land has been inundated in parts of eastern India, Indian state, hit by a powerful storm this week, officials said on Friday, a year after the coastal region was ravaged by a super cyclone. Cyclone Yas swept in from the Bay of Bengal on Wednesday, triggering storm surges that broke through embankments in the West Bengal state particularly hitting hard the ecologically sensitive Sundarbans Delta that stretches into neighboring Bangladesh. And in uh, other news from India, Banijan, a quick COVID roundup. The single day rise in COVID-19 cases in India fell well below the 2 lakh mark for the second time this month, while the recoveries continue to outnumber daily cases for the 15th consecutive day. Active cases have decreased since its last peak on May 10th. A total of 1,86,364 new coronavirus infections were reported in a day, the lowest in around 44 days, taking the total tally of COVID-19 cases to 2 lakh 75. Whoa, no, 275 lakhs 55,457. Um, there are some new IT rules that India has uh, been uh, has the Indian government has issued. Google, Facebook, WhatsApp have been sent the details and Twitter is not following rules. <clears throat> uh, the, uh, the IT ministry has been sent uh, rules to Google, Facebook and WhatsApp uh, as per the requirement of government's new social media rules reported news agency PTI quoting uh, sources. However, Twitter is apparently not following these new rules, it said. Twitter has not sent details of compliance officer to IT ministry and named a lawyer As a grievance officer, the uh, government has uh, asked all large social media platforms to inform it about the status of compliance with the new digital rules which came into force early this week. And uh, in uh, Mamta Banerjee um, has been slammed by the central government because they're saying that her behavior caused unprecedented blow to propriety and federalism because um, she... uh, did not attend Prime Minister Narendra Modi's review meeting on Cyclone Yas, and they call it a callous, arrogant, and supremely unmindful of welfare of the people of the state, central government sources are saying on Friday regarding Mamta Banerjee's behavior. More on all of this, you can find out by going to mediamahima.com. That's all we have time for on this morning's Good Morning Bay. And here is a beautiful uh, read iteration of the Ganika Kira for today. We'll see you tonight live at 5 on the Pam Pam Show. Great music for the best in entertainment.